All right, welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So, them survives cartel of a white woman, right? What we're going to talk about today is the fact that Vibes Cartel has this girl on his Instagram page. Here's a picture of the girl from his Instagram page that everyone is saying is his new girlfriend because of the love you messages. Right? And she does not appear to be of the African or Afrocentric persuasion. She seems more of the European persuasion. I mean, I might be wrong, but take another look at her. What do you think? Does she look black to you? Right? Even though cartel get mad and say, them people that need to go do them, study them history and do them work and whatever. She come from some part over Turkey, over way, way, that's all. So, at most she's Middle Eastern, right? And he's saying that she's not white. Well, the woman them say, he's not black either. She's not black either. Here's the thing. If you read the comments under that picture when she was when it was it was posted, you would have been very surprised. Me say, all the people, all the women them that love Vibes Cartel and Vibes Cartel. I don't know why Cartel would do this now at this point when he's actually getting ready to come out or getting ready then to take his court his case to court. The preliminary hearing has been pushed back to the 9th of July. So we'll talk about that in another video coming up. Finally, for the appeal, right? I don't know why I'm with a heap of all this by himself, but the matter of the fact is this. It was a white woman, it was a, it was a white looking woman, and a lot of black women were offended. You know? To top that off, him go a step further. The day after, here's what he did. The day after, Cartel put up a next picture now with a dark skinned black girl with weave and he makes mention of black woman always wearing white woman here now this right here is where it gets confusing to me and I'm starting to think that that account has been hacked cause it can't be I shake it like a them and pretending to be and I'm saying to myself is this coming from Vibes Cartel Cartel big up the woman them with bleach, you know. Cartel big up freaky girl. Him big up the woman them with bleach. Him big up the woman them where you know them weave and come out and you know me I say so. It was kind of weird. I'm Don't forget him even big up the fake bottom and fake titty them and call them what luxury dolls. I'm wondering to myself if Cartel's page has been hacked and someone is using it to do this. Because that can only be the explanation for that. A person that, that bleached away his pigmentation so heavily. I miss a world boss, you know, and I know that already, you know, but a person that bleached away his pigmentation so heavily. And just in case you forgot, here's Vibes Cartel when he was black, right? Very black. He was dark skinned. And then, of course, here he is standing next to his newfound love. Look at the complexion difference, the change. Would be having women under scrutiny so much for wearing weave and Mrs. Shorty wear weave and Shorty bleach for fair pigmentation also so for those of you who don't know Shorty is the mother of Vibes Cartel boys those are earlier pictures of Shorty with a darker skin color of course now here she is today and what she looks like the hair looks different the skin complexion look different and all these things she's been with Vibes Cartel for a number of years now so much so that no one can actually remember him being with anyone else. Alright. Here's my thing though. All those negative comments from those black females. Let me break this down for you and don't be offended. Just take it with an open mind and a grain of salt. Right? Watch me. The first time me bring a, a European female come back to America. Right? It was a British girl. And when I got to Miami... People was staring at me as if I was wearing something that I should. It's like them see one man out a door in a woman. Actually, a man outside in a woman clothes get less stare, got less stares than I did. It was my own people, and especially black women. I'll never forget this. This was years ago. I'll never forget this. One black woman said, she looked at me like this and she was like, if that's what you feel you need in your life, <laughs> go ahead. And I was like, if that's what I feel I need in my... Oh, 
All right, come on, girl, let's leave. Right? So they were brave enough to even come and say it to my face in the streets, didn't know me, but if that's what you feel that you need in your life, then go ahead. That kind of thing. Here's my thing. These, white, these black women, right, that are so offended, that are so offended when they see a black man with a white woman. Let me give you a, a, a quick rundown. First of all, a lot of these same black women, they idolize white men. Not only do they idolize, they admire them. If you watch them, when them I watch TV and them see the white boy, or if you hear them and them girlfriend talk, girl, that's a sexy ass white boy. Any woman can look at a man and say that's a sexy ass anything is somebody that, that she would eventually date, deal with, sexual encounters with, all that other stuff, right? So, I watch for all that. And these are the same women that show up on Vice Cartel page and are offended because him say, I am girlfriend this. Mind you, this ain't the first white girl Cartel been with, but maybe this are the first one him actually admits uh, is girlfriend. Right? Now, let me break it down for you even further. Watch this. You see the black man? We weren't allowed. Now go from slavery times come up now. We were not allowed into the white man's house. Okay? Not unless we were in there in a position where you were watched all the time and you were expected to watch others of your own kind and report back to master. Right? The black woman has always been in his house. Always. She has always been his substitute to do all the freaky things on when his wife, because remember, you know, he had us at a point where she wasn't able to say no. So if him didn't want to try anal, if him didn't want to try oral, and him white wife say, I'm not into all that. What the hell? That's nasty. Or I'm tired of that, George. I don't feel like I want a dick in my mouth tonight. If she didn't ever say so, him just go get him bed winch, and him bed winch had to comply and do everything he wanted to do. So she, and then, she was always in the house to always in the house to take care of the picnic them, wash the clothes, clean dishes, cook for them, all these other things, set the table, clean the house. Enough time she didn't wash clothes and is a buck as she end up again. Bend over again with your big round ass. You know what I'm saying? So she's always been there and then as time went on, that's why you have black women that say stuff like, girl, especially Jamaican. Girl, a white boy, you know, say, you know, say, I have money. Or a white boy from um, Europe, you know, say, you know, say, I have money and them thing there. So, watch me. And I keep telling them, look, majority of them broke like we broke. You hear? But, nope, can't tell them nothing. And that stems from the whole slave thing, like, back in the idea again, how they'd always been in a position of superiority, especially when slavery ended coming on up. When nobody didn't want to hire a black man, but black woman saw a way where she could make her money, get her food, secure her income, or put some food on the table by simply spreading her legs for the white man, right? So she had, she was the one that left the black man first, you know. Remember, the history of the black man with the white woman has always been murder. If the, if the crowd ever hear say that black man say, Psst, let me Emmett tells you, huh? I could bring up more names than Emmett Tills, but let, let's go off that one. Mommy Tills, when she see Emmett Tills, she ball, you know, man. They beat the picnic till all him, yeah, them pop out time, head, dig out in eyeball, actually, and all these things. So, and this was for allegedly, psst, after a, a white woman. Didn't touch her or anything. And this was, he was a kid. Male, black, boy, and this was a grown woman. Right? So... It was nothing for the white man to have a black woman on the side and him dodge around the bush and I'm going to get me some black pussy tonight, boy. And him white friend them laugh and say, I wonder what that chocolate cootie tastes like or feel like. And it was a, a, a goal for them to get some and they got some from the time where they used to force them to do it to the times where she didn't have a choice right up until where she willingly gave herself to and proudly was in a relationship with, I'm in love with him. Yeah, my girl, but you know, sir, and we're over there talking about, but you know, sir, them used to, like, cut the baby out of your belly and hang it up for the um, crocodile, them, nyam it and them thing there, and shoot it for sports. And I don't care, the one that I'm with, that's not him. <laughs> so, she, she has always been in his inner circle. And the inferiority complex that the black man had always had to 
fight. Like them. All right. He's the, he's the grandson of slave master. Them own the plantation there. Them have house over there, so land over there. So I'm, I'm the grandson of slaves. I don't have nothing. Right? Me and she have suffered together. She don't want to suffer no more. She prefer be the white man bedwinch than be my queen. And suffer with me in life. So here what? Next time white woman draw for me, me I draw back for her too. And we, we pretty much had to wait on the white woman's permission. Wait for she to come pick with. So when she came and picked, now, nowadays it's different. Nowadays, we have status, right? And if you notice, majority of white women don't go for no pop dung, brok dung. Well, I me mean, no, no, not anymore. One time, them never go for no pop dung, brok dung. Well, let's talk about people of class and quality then, or a higher level than ghetto people then. Me I talk about, they don't go for pop dung, brok dung, black man, you know. They go for black man with status, right? They go for black man with status and stature. So it's the same thing, vice versa. So when time the white the black man said no, well, alright then, since the white the black woman all over the damn white man, they're gonna be all over. You don't see the reason why people are mad. Now let's get this out of the way. It's 2018, going on 2019, right? It shouldn't be anybody business who anybody wanna go lay with, there with and date and poke and pry and that's their business. You want that with white, they with white. You want that with Chinese, they with Chinese. But I could tell you one thing. When you're black and you're broke, don't expect too many nowadays black women to look upon you and say, yeah man, me and him are going to make it together and I love me, love him, you know, and ray, ray, ray. If she has a white man on the side where I look, give her the eye like this. She gone to him. Majority of them. Anyways. Now, let, don't get it twisted. I've been around sisters before, right? I'm telling her, say, I did the whole Rasta Liberty for seven years straight. So I was around some, 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 some sisters where, yo, not even, like, not, nothing about, nothing about a white man was attractive to them. Not, they, couldn't, they didn't even watch shows on television that had white men in it. That's how militant they were. So I've been around those. And some might have said that's to an extreme. But that was their choice. Because they, they argued it deeper. Like, I don't want them to make me think things are funny. I don't want them to be my comedian. I don't want them to be my source of entertainment. Them can't entertain me. I don't want them to. I not read them books. Them. I not study nothing more about them. I know enough. Like, I don't want to find them attractive. I don't want to see them in my sight. Kind of thing. If I can help it. So when I'm home, I watch black shows. I've been around those kind of black women. Then I've been around the kind that think that whiter is righter and it's better on the other side and all that other stuff. And I'm getting to realize, remember, I know, I offer the Vibes Cartel IG thing I'm arguing this from. Bottom line, let me cut this video here, so, because we know some people's attention span short. Bottom line is, Vibes Cartel making that comment about that girl with the the dark skinned girl with the weave. It was all right. He was right in what he said. But people are going to say you have no room to talk. Because you bleach out your skin. So you bleach out your skin. The girl wear weave are the same damn thing. Left the girl alone make sure live her life. And I have to agree. Now what, did, what he said was wrong. No it wasn't. It was right. But still left the woman them alone make them live them life. Right? You choose who you want to choose, make sure you do what you want to do too. Alright? And remember, I told you, the black woman on his page, that's mad. Black woman uncle mad when time black man there with white woman when time black man have something going for him. The bummy ass brother that has a dream and a vision but hasn't reached the dream and vision yet or hasn't looked like or doesn't look like he's on his way there yet, she don't have no time for him neither. So, let us do we thing, right? If you're into white, go white. If you're into Chinese, go Chinese. If you're into black, go black. Make people do them thing. Make people do them thing. It's 2018. Adapt me office about the whole situation. That's all I got to say. You see me? Just know, sir, them same black girl there, eh, what you see I talk about, oh, I guess you're there with one white girl now. I want, you couldn't find one black, one black queen, eh? This is so disgusting. 
The one them will leave those kind of comments on there. And I encourage you to go over Tropics and look. Big up Tropics again. The one them that leave those comments, I encourage you to go over there and look at the comments. Those ones, I guarantee you, they're the same types that sit around admiring white boys. Damn, I want sex to white boy that. But I give him something, enough. I'm out, man. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I felt like being a little bit controversial today. It's so Flow TV. Peace. If you know anything about this, please leave it in the comment section below. Ha, ha, ha.